Hi everyone, I have wanted to make a budgeting video for a while now and with all of the uncertainty about where your money's coming from, where your money's going and all of that, it's the perfect time to either start a budget or kind of really like look at it and go through the nitty and gritty and making sure that your money is doing what you want it to, especially like I said, in these times. So I have five steps that I want to show you. The first part that we're gonna go through together is creating a budget. Now I have a template that I've linked down below where you can go ahead and fill out all the different categories, all the different costs and payments that you have. The monthly budget template, this is kind of what I have working right now. So go ahead and put in any of the due dates of your bills. So for example, I have a, the bill is going to be called Target and it is due on the third of each month. Go ahead and add all of your other bills as well as the due dates. If you have a budgeted amount, let's say I know that I want to budget a certain amount for Target, you can go ahead and put that in, any notes. I left this section over here for when you go ahead and like pay it or put it in different categories. So I personally have a lot of savings accounts, but you can have all of your different categories, however you usually do your banking. So on the left hand side here, we have different savings. So go ahead and change all the things that you're saving for. This is just kind of my template of things that I'm saving for, but obviously yours is going to be different than mine. Monthly income. This could be all of your paychecks added together. This is just like an average. The last part that I'm going to kind of explain is the total being put into savings account. So this number on the bottom here is all of these added together and then whatever my monthly income is minus what is already accounted for is how much left to spend on the credit card so the credit card does not have an unlimited amount of money this is the money this is the number that I'm kind of working with. Now this can go towards food, towards going out, towards any other fun spending, but that's how much money that I go ahead and put in my finance tracker. Once you've created your budget and you know how much you wanna spend each month, you wanna make sure that you're not spending above that, right? So having some sort of finance tracker is gonna be key. I've been using these Sessa V inserts just because I think they are really pretty and easy to put in the agenda that I use. The third key is just doing like a little weekly check-in of how much money you are spending. In my agenda, I have the monthly spread. On the right-hand side, I just go ahead and say, this is how much money that I have a goal of spending each week. And then each week I check in and look at how much actually I have spent looking at those two numbers then you can tell if you're spending too much money uh that past week so the next week you can kind of know like oh i'm not going to go out to eat as much just to kind of like keep yourself in check and making sure that whatever your goals are and your spending goals are you're not going over them the fourth sheet that i want you to take a look at is some sort of method to make sure that you're paying all of your bills on time if you have multiple credit card bills or you have different categories that you're putting your money in in different savings account, going through each month after you get paid and putting all that money in the allotted slots that you have already pre-done in your budget is gonna be super important moving forward. I found this free will home PDF you can type right in it. I think it's really nice because all the months are kind of laid out for you all at once and you don't have to keep on printing monthly pages for all the bills when you open up the bill pay checklist go ahead and look at your budget that's just kind of to figure out all the math and such but this is where you can kind of look at month to month to make sure that you're doing that monthly budget. So go ahead and open it up, click on the bill, and basically you're just gonna copy it exactly how you did in your budget spreadsheet. So the first thing I have is target, due date is the third. The amount I'm keeping blank, and then when you print it out, you can go ahead and check these off. Once you're done filling out this little sheet, you can print it out, put it in your agenda, put it in a binder, wherever you keep all your budgeting info, and then check it off each month.
The fifth and final step that I think when you're looking at a complete budget is making sure that you have a savings account, right? I've linked a PDF of all the different things that you can be saving for. A thousand dollar emergency fund, three to six months of spending. That's what we're gonna work on right now, so I have it linked down below. Uh, if you scroll down to the very, very bottom of that PDF, we're looking at the three to six months savings. If we're looking at the three to six month emergency fund sheet, you have to figure out what is necessity for you. All the instructions are right here of how to kind of like fill it out. I'm such a visual person. I love filling out all of the little jars, but before we can fill the jars, write down all the things that are of absolute necessity. So that would be a, a mortgage payment or rent. That would be your retirement. That would be a car payment, phone pill, uh, credit card bills, those are the most important things. So write that down, find out that number, and that number is gonna go in box A. The fun part is dividing it by 10, figuring out how much is gonna go in box B, and this is every single little amount. So whenever I have reached whatever that number is, let's say if I am looking at my spending tracker, it is $276 per box. When I have $276 in my emergency fund, I can go ahead and fill in this one. When I have $552, I can go ahead and fill in this one and just keep on filling it up until you have three to six months spending already saved. After going through these five steps, I hope that you're a little more comfortable with your money, uh, with a budget. Maybe you started a budget if you haven't before. Let me know in the comments down below which trackers you mostly enjoy, which trackers you may use that I have not used because I'm always looking to add and tweak my little uh, budgeting section in my agenda. Other than that, I'll see you in a future video.